Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today we are taking our first look at augmented reality here on the channel and I can't thank Enreal enough for sending me one of their dev kits, guys. This is amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Enreal. I cannot wait to see what you guys have been cooking up. So we're going to go ahead and get it unboxed. We're going to get it set up and I'm going to give you my thoughts as usual. So stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get in there and see what's in this box, man, because I am chomping at the bit. So the box itself looks beautiful, nice metallic silver, no graphics on it, um, just the contents of the box and, and what you're getting here. So, all right, let's go. Slice, slice, nice. All right, so, First we got, oh man, that's like a tight vacuum seal on it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Man, that was really nice and airtight. Okay, so there you have it right there in the box. First thing you see is a nice logoed hard case. And I love that, especially when you've got something like this that you're gonna wanna take and demo to other people. So class in real class, loving that. So, all right, and oh, looks like we got some stuff underneath here. So we've got our standard uh, disclaimer and safety guidelines and our quick start guide and some cool uh, funky little transmissive stickers there. That's kind of cool. So let's see what we got here. Oh, make it real. That's right. So we're, we're about to do that. You got like a cool cat wearing the in real glasses and some unicorns and a dog. And okay, so very cool. Add those to my sticker collection, but we're not here to see stickers and guides and boxes. We're here to see the in real light. And man, I cannot wait. So, all right, here we go. Really slow. Oh, oh I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. Oh, I'm gonna open it. Here we go. And boom, there it is. So very, very nicely packaged in this, in this nice travel case, guys. So it looks like we've got three different nose bridge uh, attachments and those just literally just suck right up in there via a magnet. Uh, we've got our compute unit. We've got the, um, the controller here that goes on the compute unit. Looks like a power supply, some silica gel. Um, these are interesting. So they, they actually include one set of the magnetic frames that you can take to your optician and have custom prescription lenses put in. So, you know, for somebody who like me, I don't like wearing my contacts and this is obviously not something that's gonna be comfortable to wear over glasses since it's about the same size as glasses. So very cool there. Now, Enreal also sells a full kit, like say you were gonna do this in an arcade or something like that for, I think it's about 500 bucks, but it's, it's all the lenses. It's like every diopter you can think of. Um, and I tried that at CES and it worked really well. I did not have to wear my glasses in the in real light. So very, very cool once again that they include something like that. Now, we're not here to talk about all that. We want to see these glasses. So let's go ahead and take the cord out so I don't drop it. And there we go. So, all right. This is amazing, guys. I mean, the form factor of these is absolutely flawless. I, this is like wearing a pair of sunglasses. I, I mean, it's actually about the same darkness as wearing a pair of sunglasses inside. And I, I gotta tell you, the weight is amazing. Now I do need to put a nose piece in, but man, the weight of these, it feels like I've got nothing on my face. So, oh wow, very good. Very, very nice design in real. Now, the only thing that I can see on the design front here that I don't like is, is I don't ever like it when there is a fully attached cord because that means something goes wrong with your cord, you're not gonna be able to replace the whole arm. I, I don't know how InReal is gonna deal with that. 
Uh, it is a very short cord as well. Um, so, you know, you're definitely going to only be tethered to your phone, which will go in your pocket. But I still would like a little longer cord because you can plug these into a computer screen, uh, computer as well. Um, and then have just a static floating screen of your computer desktop. So other than that, man, the weight looks good. The, the, the springy hinges here knocked it out of the park with the form factor in real loving it. So yeah, I, I can't wait to see these in action. So we're going to go ahead and get them all set up and get in there and take a look. All right, so we got everything out of the box and uh, now I guess the next step would be to go here to developer.inreal.ai and uh, grab the SDK because, well, guys, like I said, this is a developer kit at this point. Um, they do have a consumer version that will be coming out later this year, but currently uh, this is for the developers. So you'll start here at developer.inreal.ai, uh, a little overview of some of the things that it is capable of, 6DOF, plane detection, hand tracking, which is coming soon, uh, hopefully in the next SDK, the multiplayer mode that they just launched with their tower game, um, very cool. Now. You know, being a developer kit, guys, I, I can tell you th this is like the DK1 days for AR. So, you know, you, you see pictures like this and, and it just looks, oh my God, this is going to be so cool. Well, you know, we're going to throw some through the lens stuff here in a minute, but it looks great. Don't get me wrong, but you're not going to see it filling your entire field of vision just yet. So, all right, let's go ahead and get down here and download the SDK. Now, it is currently Unity SDK 1.3.0, um, and like I said, next version, hopefully we're gonna get that hand tracking because that is gonna be super cool. All right, so 1.3 selected, I agree, and download. Okay, so now we've got the SDK downloaded. Let's go ahead and take a look at the quick start for Android here. Now, this is gonna give you all the information that you need to go ahead and create your first sample app for the Unreal Lite Developer Kit. And you guys know I am not a developer by any means. I am a hobbyist. I, you know, over the years I have watched a few YouTube tutorials and gotten my feet wet enough to throw a world in VR chat you know but uh, if I can do it anybody can do it and this is where you want to get started so all right um, so looks like we got a hardware checklist duh we're gonna need a developer kit um, a USB-C cable uh, some software you'll want to go ahead and grab the latest version of unity the latest version of the SDK which this looks to be a little out of date here um, since we know that is 1.3.0 currently um, and then you're going to need Android Studio and you're going to want to install Android SDK 8.0 at API level 26 um, or later, obviously. Um, so, all right, uh, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and open Unity here. So let's do it. All right, so now Unity is open and we'll go ahead and create a new project. And for this, we will just call this, um, let's see here, let's call this uh, in real video recorder. All right. So we we'll just uh, leave it as a standard 3D and uh, hit create. Okay, now that Unity's all opened up, we are gonna wanna go ahead and import the SDK here. So we'll do import package, custom package, um, and then we will go to where we have that. Um, and right here I have it uh, and just click it. And then it's going to prepare it and bring it in and then we'll click import and Okay, there we go. So now it is imported and you see that is in our assets section. So we'll go ahead and open the uh, Unreal SDK here and we got a bunch of folders. Now, 
you know, obviously that's going to have all the stuff that you need for building your apps. For today, we're just going to be working with the demos here. These are some pre-selected things that we can just load up and build quickly. Uh, now, you know, for the purposes of what I'm doing here, I want to capture video from the device. And unfortunately, until we get an OS and we get flashy things like that built in in a consumer version, if you want to do that, you're going to have to build it into an app. So in order to test it here, we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, RGB camera record and we'll just double click that and then that loads it in there and you can see it's just it's, it's going to be a very basic scene, nothing in it but the Unreal logo here and uh, a start and stop button for your recordings. So, you know, that in itself is is cool but i don't know we, we want to jazz this up a little bit you know let's let's since i'm going to record this into a video for you guys let's make it look cooler so in order to do that i just started playing around the other night um, and i came into the models folder here and found this uh, cool little room so we're just going to drop this little room in here and we'll go ahead and make sure that that is on the same plane as ah there we go see noob told you not really a unity master here but uh there we go Man. I'll tell you what let's move that slightly outside the door there there we go okay so there we go. Um, that way we put our starting position slightly outside the house here. Ah. All right, so now that we've got everything configured the way that we want it, the last step is, is we need to go ahead and build the app in Unity. So there's some settings that we're gonna have to go ahead and set in order to do that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to File, and then we're gonna to go to the Build Settings here. Now, if you're like me and you're a noob, you probably didn't change this before starting. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is change to the Android platform. So now that that has switched us over to Android, we're going to go ahead and set a few things. So we'll come in here to the uh, player settings. Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, set up a, a company. And you don't really have to, but you know, you might as well here. So let's go ahead, VR Gamer Dude Studios. Uh, we're going to call this the Unreal Video Recorder. And eh, let's give it an icon. Uh, it's like I'll just pick one of the default Unreal ones here. Um, oh, that one looks nice and colorful, like that. Okay, so now that we've got that set, uh, we're going to go ahead and go here to the resolution and presentation section. And uh, there's a couple of things in here that we're going to want to change. So first is the default orientation uh, for the Unreal. We want to go ahead and put it in portrait orientation. Um, and then I think that's everything in resolution and presentation. Now we're going to go to other settings here. So uh, first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and remove the Vulkan API. We don't need that. Um, we are simply going to be working with the, uh, the uh, OpenGL ES3. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. Okay, so now that that is removed, we're going to go ahead and slide down a bit. And next thing we're looking for is this right here. Now, in the documentation it says to name it, it seems as if it has already named it for me. So that is good. Uh, next, we want to change the minimum API level here to the uh, 8.0 API level 26 that was mentioned in the documentation. Um, target API level you can set as the same. I'm just leaving it as higher, uh, highest installed, um, and that's fine. Uh, that way, if you try to install this on something else, uh, maybe it will work as well. 
Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the, uh, the install location here. Uh, so it says to set it to the external um, SD card, even though the unit does not have an SD card. Um, and then we are going to allow unsafe code. That's right, I know that sounds scary, but you know, it, it's all good. Uh, everything here is safe. And the last thing we wanna do is go over here to the quality and we're going to change the vsync count to don't sync. So once we have done all of that and everything is set up, we are ready to build and run the app. Now you can do a couple of things if you have the compute unit plugged into your computer via ADB wireless bridge or the, uh, the USB-C cable, you can just simply hit build and run. It's gonna go ahead and, and compile the AQ, APK and install it on the compute unit for you. Um, or you can just simply hit build here. So we'll just go ahead and hit build and uh, we'll call it in real video recorder. All right, there we go and save it. And there we go. And now it's gonna build our app. Okay, and now the app is built. So last thing we wanna do is we can just move it on over to the compute unit and boom. All right, so now that we have that on the compute unit, we need to install it. So in order to do that, you're actually going to have to do another step here on the computer and that is use our good old friend screen copy through ADB. So screen copy is an amazing little uh, application that uses the uh, Android bridge to allow you to see an Android screen and manipulate it on your computer. So here we are. Now we are in the compute unit for the Unreal Light. And if we want to install what we just created, we just go here to the file manager, go here, and there we go. In real video recorder and boom it's installed so now we can go ahead and disconnect the compute unit from the computer and plug in the glasses all right here we are in the app we just built in unity and you know like like you guys just saw it normally would have just been this the little start stop there was a plane detector that i took out where you could throw some stickers on but obviously i wanted to spruce it up and and i even spruced it up a little bit more you know just for the purposes of the video so i added a, a point light and I, I did a little play around with my logo here so i thought that was kind of cool uh, the little AR gamer dude. And then I had to add the, the, the future is now picture. I love that. I, I took that at OC5. I'm actually going to have that blown up and, and put on my real wall. So here it is. I mean, here is the demo scene that, that, that was right there in the in real SDK. Uh, it is definitely enough to kind of give you an idea of the potential. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to record other videos like this until developers start building this into their apps or until Unreal adds uh, this functionality and gives us an OS. I mean, probably that's going to happen around launch time. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, other than that, th th that's it. This is pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. I am loving that. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it, it's just AR. I mean, it, it, we are in the beginning stages. So I, I did post a little video of this scene playing out in my yard um, over on Twitter uh, and uh, got a lot of response to it. And uh, some people, I guess, were a little... Um, uh, tricked that, that they thought this is the way I was seeing everything and that is not the case. So we're going to jump in and I'm going to show you guys a, a, a few through the lens uh, video shots. Now I don't have a professional camera so don't expect them to be like super super good but I'm going to do my best. So let's go. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take an actual look through the lenses of the glasses. Now, I do apologize right off the bat for this section of the video being a little bit lower quality. Um, unfortunately, you know, as I said a minute ago, I don't have fancy equipment. I don't have fancy cameras. I was actually saving up for one uh, until COVID hit and I lost my job. Uh, but uh, that's another story for another time. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do our best here to take a look uh, at the Infinity Space demo reel uh, that comes with the compute unit. Uh, like I said, keep in mind, guys, this is not indicative of what I am truly seeing through the glasses. What I am seeing is way crisper, more colorful. This is, you know, what you guys are seeing is, is unfortunately going to be hindered by my, my potato equipment. So anyway, let's go. All right, there we go. Get our in real light logo. And there we have it. So, all right, the demo reel here consists of five different mini experiences to kind of show off different aspects of uh, what the in real light AR glasses are capable of. So my, the first one right here, Portal, man, this has been my absolute favorite. Uh, this one, it, it creates a huge space. I actually did this one out in the backyard at dusk and, and it was just phenomenal. You walk through a portal, you got this space battle going on. You can even shoot like little lasers from the uh, from the controller here and and blow up asteroids so super fun we'll, we'll definitely try to take a look at that but you know keep in mind the space is limited and it is daylight outside so it may not look the best uh, you got the ar cinema here cinema has been one of my favorite things to do so far with the uh, in real light uh, i've got it hooked up through my phone which we will also take a look at here in a minute using samsung dex uh, and I get a big floating window so I can watch Netflix, I can watch Sling TV, it is great. In fact, you might have seen a little tweet from me, or from my wife actually, uh, where she secretly captured a little video of me mowing the yard while watching Sling in uh, my AR glasses. Uh, we've also got the lovely cat, uh, my kid's favorite demo so far. It's got a little cat that runs around your room and chases the laser pointer here, too fun. Uh, you got Butterfly Valley, uh, throws some little butterflies all over the room and then has a nice little tabletop scene, a uh, little RPG-ish uh, scene that you can take a look at. And then uh, we have our holographic video here. Oh, his head's getting cut off. Now, that's something else that hopefully you'll be able to see with this style of video recording is, is exactly, like I said, what I am seeing. And that is going to show you the, the slightly limited 52 degree field of view. So, all right, let's go ahead and just start with holographic dude here. Uh, don't understand a word he's saying, but you know what? It looks cool. All right, there he is. It's like a little, uh, like a Korean version of my friend Nathy. So, all right, so I'm going to gently pick up this entire uh, camera rig that I had to, to slap together with duct tape here. So hopefully it doesn't fall apart when we move around. Um, so, all right, here we go. Um, so there you go. You can see, um, you know, we got the holographic guy. He is um, kind of, yeah, kind of standing right here in my studio. Uh, but, you know, there you go. So like I said, this will really kind of show you the, the limitation of that field of view uh, that I was talking about. Um, you know, obviously the further back I get from objects, the, the fuller they're going to be. Um, but when we really get up and get in there close, uh, you, you can see that it definitely uh, cuts stuff off. So, all right, um, let's see here. Um, I guess we can play with the cat for a minute. And there we go, we got our little cat and he's gonna follow that laser pointer and he'll jump up on the little virtual table here. Um, so very cool there. Now, obviously, once again, you can see he kind of goes out of the field of view. So, you know, you're, you're gonna hear me mentioning that and, and, and that's because, well, that is the biggest limitation so far that I am seeing from AR. 
uh, and this is my first AR experience. So, you know, I've heard that like the HoloLens one um, was even worse. Uh, Magic Leap is supposed to be on par. HoloLens uh, 2 is supposed to be on par with the same FOV that we're seeing here. Um, but uh, now for, like I said, cinema watching, however, it is fantastic. Um, like I could totally uh, use this on a plane, use it laying in bed, especially once we get a, a proper cinema app here that allows us to uh, resize and reposition that screen. I, I really, I, I gotta tell you, uh, you know, obviously I'm not a developer, I am a, I'm more of a consumer here. Uh, you know, but I can't wait to see the actual Nebula OS and, I, and, I, and, I, and the ability to like pin things to walls and do all the cool AR stuff. Uh, because man, I really want to be able to just like pin uh, TVs in different rooms of my house here. So, uh, but you can see uh, the video is transmissive. Now, um, I do have this set at the lowest absolute brightness. Uh, uh, because of the old webcam here, but um, obviously if I turn the brightness up, the image is gonna get a little washed out, but you can see it becomes pretty much completely opaque. I mean, I can barely see through it. Um, probably a little more so recording this uh, through the lenses of the webcam than what I would actually see with my real eye. All right, so I thought I'd use Butterfly Valley here uh, to do a little brightness test. So one of the things that I've had a lot of people asking me for is to kind of cycle through the brightness levels on the, uh, the image. So right now um, I do have this at the lowest brightness. Um, this, is, this is absolute zero and you can see the image is pretty transmissive. Um, I can kind of see right through it. So um, if we want, we can just uh, reach up here underneath the rocker so that is one step up from the lowest. There's two steps up from the lowest, three steps up from the lowest, four steps, five steps, six, seven, and it looks like seven's as high as it'll go. So there you go. So there is the brightness set at seven, and, and you can see that the, the, it, the, 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 Image is still a little bit transmissive. Uh, you, you can still see through it just a hair, but really when you get down on it, 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 it just becomes completely solid and you can see the entire thing. Okay, and so the last thing I wanted to show you guys before we wrap this up is what happens when I plug the in real light glasses into my cell phone. Now, currently I'm using the Samsung S9 Plus, which is a Snapdragon 845, so it does work with the glasses, but it is not listed as compatible on Enreal's website or in any of the documentation. So I, I can't get any of the AR apps to actually run from the phone. Um, However, what I can do with the phone is actually pretty cool, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been my biggest use case for the glasses thus far, since there's not a lot of content. Um, and that is, I can plug it in and I can actually see my phone screen floating in front of me. Now, it, it's not resizable, it's not adjustable, it's not pinnable, but it's completely usable. Uh, right distance, right clarity. I mean, everything looks like I am just seeing a phone on a pair of glasses. So you can actually use it um, in a couple of different modes. So you can uh, use it in portrait mode. You can also switch over and just flip your phone over and use it in landscape. And you know, I, I've actually mentioned this on the forums and gotten a couple of questions about it. So I wanted to show you guys here as well. Another cool thing that you can do if you have a Samsung phone with this is we can activate DeX. And, and if you're not familiar with DeX, DeX is a full desktop application. You know, basically hook your phone to a monitor and turn it into a little mini computer, so to speak. So when I've got DeX activated here, I just come in, I just say use my phone as a touchpad and there you go. And then I have a full mouse. And I, I tell you what, it is so 
awesome to be able to you know, do this. I mean, I, I've, I've tended to find that I'll go back and I will uh, just lay in bed at night, uh, throw my Bluetooth headphones on, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm watching a huge big screen just floating right above me that stays right in the center of my field of view. So, you know, there you have it in a nutshell. Uh, there, there's definitely a lot of cool things you can do with the in real light glasses. So I think we're going to go ahead and jump out of them now and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. And I can't thank Enreal enough for sending this my way to make this happen, guys. This is amazing, and I truly feel blessed to, to be in a position to be able to play with this early tech and show it to you guys. So, you know, I guess it's time for my final thoughts. And, and my final thoughts are these glasses are amazing. Now, they're amazing in the sense that they are a developer kit. And, and you know, I stress developer kit. It, 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 I know a lot of consumers watch this channel and it, this is not for you. Not yet. It, it's coming. It's coming at the end of this year. You guys are going to get a look at it. You're not going to need the little funky compute unit. You'll just be able to plug it into your phone. Everything's going to work fine and you're going to get it at half the cost. So let's leave these to the developers at this point guys there's not much you can do on it at the uh, you know at all unless you're gonna get your feet wet with unity and learn that sdk so that's it in a nutshell i love them i, I can't wait to show you guys more content as it uh, crops up but for me that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And especially if you made it all the way to the end, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here. And if you liked what you saw today, take a look at my main catalog. Look through my videos. I've got stuff going back five years to the beginning, to the DK days of VR. So now we're going to start adding AR to that. And I'd love to take you with me. So why don't you smash subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified the next time I do something cool here on the channel. And of course, if you're already a subscriber, guys, I love you. You know I do. I say it every video, but I mean it. It's from the heart. You guys have helped me grow this channel over the last five years to something that that is that is decent, and, and I appreciate that. So keep helping me grow it, man. Like this video, share it, let's comment, let's talk about it down in the comment section. But for me, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.